did the funny fun. No, exactly. I wanted to meet exclusively her. <laughs> I can't do it, Jennifer Coolidge. No, it's humiliating. All right, if you could um, work with one celebrity, who would you work with? Oh, God. Um, For the rest of your life. So professionally married to this yes. celebrity. Okay. <laughs> Oh, that changes it. So, <laughs> do I have to like cohabitate? Like, do I have to worry about like, I don't know, Sean Bean being like, I didn't put back the dishes, and I'm like, damn it, Sean Bean. <laughs> no, you again. Just, you just work with them. Just work with them. Um, <laughs> For the rest of your life. <laughs> I think here's the deal. I've gotten like a lot of Bill Hader comments about myself and the way I like interact with the world. Yeah. And so I think if I could work with Bill Hader. For the rest of whose life? Mine or his? <laughs> his life. Okay, for the rest of his life. Um, <laughs> that's really cool because I get to learn from him for somebody that, like, has a similar, like, build to me, you know, control of, like, voices and faces and has a similar path. So there's a lot to learn from there. But I also feel like I could take him. Um, so if it's the rest of his life, as soon as I'm done with the arrangement, I'm just like, you knew what this was. Yeah. And then I get to um, murk him. <laughs> um, he's murked. And now I get all the treats from Famous. You want to kill Bill Hader? I never said I want to, Sarah. It's just nice to have the option. You're going to have to. It's not. Yeah. Well, I mean, we'll cross that bridge. We'll burn that bridge when we come to it. But it's nice to know I could. You know what I mean? Yeah. Because like Jennifer Coolidge, I don't know like toe to toe who's coming out alive in that situation. Oh, definitely her. Yeah. I mean, she's very powerful, but I also have learned many times over never to underestimate you. So... I really don't know what's happening in that situation. Mm. But for me, myself personally, I, I think I'd be careful. But Bill Hader, could, I could easily, weak ankles. Really? Just so quick. I mean, look at him. Like right now? Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> no, Bring no, him out. No, I'm so sorry. Yeah, hey, uh, glad I could be on your show. I'm sorry, I'm are you talking about killing me? <laughs> and then he gets immediately. <laughs> <laughs> I'm just like, Sag. Fuh! Oh, yeah, God. <laughs> oh, God. <laughs> If by sag you mean his own feet, <laughs> yes. as I wind strike him, oh, I'm like, Kazakiri? And then he's like, What are you talking about? I didn't even feel a hit. And then you just have that moment of like, <laughs> that you see in anime with like, it's the, yes. you know. You have planned out killing Billy. I don't. So it's <laughs> it's improv, Sarah. No, no. It's a funny game. <laughs> no one's planned on murders. <laughs> No, dude, I know. I know. <laughs> Don't even worry about it. Everyone's being so weird. If you had to kill one good celebrity. Bill Hader. What's up? No, <laughs> sorry, continue. Hater. I'm kidding. No, who I could? No. If I, in this scenario, do I have the ability? Am I choosing in this like hypothetical scenario where I can press a button and they're gone? Or is it like, all right, Damien, you are now given the assassin's task. Oh, the it has deadly to be deed. with your bare hands. With my bare. Okay. See, cause that I'm glad I asked. Cause that changes so much. Yeah. Um, <laughs> I don't know. I've got to give an answer. That's both funny and not problematic. I would take the elderly. Cause you could just, push. I think, I think the young though, you could push them though. There's probably more of a rush, and I think you gain their life force. Yes. Do you know what I mean? Yes. I think you very much gain, you know, their strength when you defeat them. In this case, kill. I haven't thought about it, but I just feel like you know you would. Yeah. How about you? What murder would you be responsible for on camera here? <laughs> exactly where it was. What am I? A very damn good question, Sarah. What What sign do you think I am? Oh, it'll your surprise sign. you. Um, you're Pisces. No. I don't know. I don't, I, I don't put stock in it, but I don't judge anyone for doing it. But um, you are Being a, a Libra. I am. Hey, there we go. Yeah. Neat. You Pretty definitely give off Libra vibes. I'm balanced and I shallow. I don't know what that means. Um, <laughs> well, no, Libra is like the scale. So it's oh, like sure. you're, you're balanced, charming, um, mm. a little bit superficial and a little bit of a liar. Because like if you maintain, there's like, oh, you do a lot of compromise to like maintain balance. Sure. Where like you don't take any like hard stances, but I do take very hard stances and that's because the autism. Yeah. Yeah. The I like having hard opinion on things. <laughs> I wonder what the moon's influence on autism is. <laughs> it's it's not powerful enough. They're like I barely just manage tides. You think I yeah. can handle your tism as well? That tis is. How far along are you on this? I'm doing okay. I feel like, are you at this? No. Oh, hell yeah, but you still made the um, terrarium? Yeah. Or what is it? Base? Yeah. Base. 
I think I'm doing okay. You're doing great. Thanks. I wasn't fishing, but tell me I'm doing great. It's not a competition, but you are doing fine. All right, sport. My mom, your mom wanted you me to uh, explain to you puberty. So uh, here we're getting help from the puberty penguin and Elaine, the fairy of growing up. Elaine, take it away. I haven't been touched in years. <laughs> Elaine, what does that mean? Somebody, please. I'm so lonely. My cats can only keep me so warm at night. <laughs> like, oh, Elaine. Sounds like you've got a cough there. Yeah, it comes from not kissing someone on their soft, sweet lips. Penguin of puberty, take it away. You're gonna be experiencing some changes in your body. <laughs> <laughs> Sometimes your brows are gonna drop. <laughs> <laughs> Thank you, penguin of puberty. I know it's a flamingo. Hey, look at my socials if you care. It's my first anime and I'm a lead in it and it's really exciting because I've been wanting to do it for a while. Um, but game wise, I just had a mobile game come out. I can talk about that. Yeah. It's like, it's one of those gotcha games where you like summon characters mm -hmm. and I'm like one of the hundred characters and I recorded it like three years ago in peak pandemic. Yeah. Over the course of like an hour. And it was just like randomly, I got an email being like, hey, the game's going up. I'm like, the what? Oh, okay. Yeah, sure. What was the character like? What did they do? Um, he is a little devil guy. Um, mm -hmm. He looks like the kind of like goatee having, real schemey mm -hmm. kind of guy. Um, and when I auditioned for it, he had like a deep voice and a little bit of an accent to it. And then when I got in there, the client um, who was calling in from China was like, yeah, we like what you're doing, but don't do the accent and don't go so deep. And then I'm like, oh, so just like a guy. Yeah. You just want like a guy. And <laughs> And they were like, yeah, you know, like a guy. And I'm like, okay. So I still haven't heard the finished product. I haven't, you know, downloaded the game or anything. Um, but that was, that was fun. <laughs> what if they like made your character like a big doofus? <laughs> like you play the game. <laughs> <laughs> That's little Dimmy Dumpus. He's the worst one to summon. <laughs> Everything hurts and he's always crying. <laughs> What's this idiot gonna say today? <laughs> hey, guys. <laughs> <laughs> maybe we're rich because we don't work hard enough. Or maybe we're not rich because we don't work hard enough. It's like, no, that's not what I believe. Why do they you say that? Oh, God. That's funny. I also just had a game come out for uh, VR. Okay. Okay. Amanda? To improve his car, he tinted his windows. Whoa, illegal in some states. Yeah. Damien? Uh, to improve his car, he made the first sunroof, but it was a latch. Sounds reasonable. Arasha? Uh, to improve his car, he made the engine play music. Okay, you're a liar. Flip, flip your card over. Look, that was not fair. <laughs> no. was, uh, Amanda, what was yours? Uh, tinted flip windows. Your flip your card. <laughs> oh, he's metagaming. No, no, I really was. I just literally couldn't remember. But I'm now remembering tinting your windows. I think you should flip your card. <gasps> yeah. All oh, right, right, right. So just... um, that leaves me with Damien and Courtney, who had kind of similar answers. Um, so you know what? A sunroof and perfume? Mm -hmm. a su mine, mine's sunroof that he made with the first oh, sunroof. Oh, hers was the smelling. Was the, you did the. No, mine was the engine, engine played music. music. Yeah, so you all twos were similar. Damien, I think I'm going to have to call you a liar. <gasps> you call me a liar, son? Yeah. You're correct, son. Oh! oh! Well done. So, so I, wait, do you get, what do you get now? Points? No. You, uh, dined and dined, for sure. I feel yeah. that, I feel that. Maybe I'm gonna not. go for it. Okay, All right. what do you got for me? All right, Keith, mm -hmm. so Miss Piggy, very strong. Mm -hmm. Very strong-willed, but also very physically strong. She's mm -hmm. always like, hi-ya! And like, <laughs> that's wow. so that that true. And, uh, he sounds just like her. Yeah, that is <laughs> great. Come have Kirby, I can you, uh, I don't know. I uh, so <laughs> what we need is someone that is sort of her type, but can also be strong enough to do what you're asking here. Mm -hmm. I present to you Andre the Giant. <laughs> now, wow. Andre the Giant is French, and some people refer to French people, there's a word, for, uh, frogs. She's dated frogs in the past, so that works, but he's much oh, bigger, wow. and anytime yeah. she's like, you can't talk to me like that, like, okay, time to go, and then he'll just walk away. Yeah, 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 yeah. Or he'll just be her muscle in the room and also like support her quietly from behind, mm. and if she's hungry, he'll be like, anybody want a peanut? And she does mm -hmm. want a peanut. Mm -hmm. Easy! The sweat stains really added to the insanity, yeah. you know? This is my impression of Elmo after he's fallen after on the hard times. Christian, I'm sorry what I said about Rocco. I'll do anything for Rocco now. I'm not the feel good. I'm not the feel good for Rocco. Mm -hmm. 
Mm. This is my fur. This is my fur. Mm. You want to touch it? You want to pet it? I do anything for a rock girl. <laughs> <laughs> I feel ants on my skin. Mm. It hurts. Mm. Mm. Elmo's famous on the internet now. This will be worth it, Elmo. As the world's ugliest baby, I will take that. Thank you kindly, please, and thank oh, you. Good. Um, I will say, though, rough round. Rough <laughs> no, I'm going oh. to do, have both of these been family edition already? Or? Yeah, yeah, do a regular one. I'll, a regular. Do, I'll do a regular oh. one. This one is for the everyone out there. Men like blank. Now, I will say, um, I pulled a random card for this just to mix things up, but none of you chose family edition, and the rando is a family edition, <laughs> so I'm actually going to put that back. And grab this one so I actually can shuffle it fairly and not know who's this one. That is honest. We love fair. Men like living la vida loca. Oh, whoa. Nice. <laughs> That's crazy. <laughs> Dude, don't knock Ricky Martin. Men like toddlers. Whoa. Is, is I hope, the random. Let's go. Otherwise, it's gotta be the random. You're gonna notice a really First interesting double. jump cut double. in this video double. with one less person. I hope you that is yeah. not yeah. very La Vida Loca. Okay. <laughs> I was like, that was you great, right? That was, <laughs> that was great, right? Oh no. Oh no. <laughs> so the rando, guys. <laughs> oh dear. If it is, I'm gonna be so upset. <laughs> please, please do win. Who no hands tears? We're, we're two minutes in. We're two minutes in. No, let's ride. Let's Men like crying, yes, father, while getting spanked. Nice. <laughs> That's funny. That got yeah. everyone in the room. Wow. Daddy's overused. Um, men like the weird noises mom makes when she's swallowing big veggies. What the f <laughs> What? It's why is this so cursed? Someone's at the door. It's that, a good one. No, don't answer. <laughs> Read it, Damien. <laughs> oh no! Oh no! Men like the Satisfier Pro 2 Air Pulse <laughs> Stimulator. Nice. Oh. Work. You're at Costco with your wife, and you're like. Oh, that's wow. <laughs> that's exactly. You would what like you, you would for like you, that, right? I mean, for you. For you. <laughs> wow. For you, you would probably want that. What a group of players we have I at mean, the wow. table today. Read them again. I mean, read them again. <laughs> no, you don't have to read it again. Yeah. I, I'm doing <laughs> the weird right. noises oh, mom makes when she's swallowing big veggies. Nice. Yeah. Jesus. Okay. All right. Yeah. Go, <laughs> Angela. What's all? <laughs> what was the lie, Arasha? The lie was that I was not captain of my middle school's model UN team. I don't even know if I believe that, Arasha. If only you had a close relative of mine to... Do you know who could help us figure out if that was a lie? Dad? Your mom. What if your entitled, entire Model UN team came out? <laughs> yeah. Model UN? Yes, you can ask my mom whatever. So, was Arasha... Wait, oh have God, you never so kicked a uh, licked a, a sweaty person? No, that's a bunch of sweaty. Not. Yeah, that's that so often. No, yeah, I know. Fine. It builds immunities. Lick your sweaty Look. friends. Ooh. <laughs> Tim, Tim, Tim just like, went no. <laughs> oh man. Oh um. <clears throat> oh. Are we? Oh. <laughs> a romantic mm. candlelit dinner would be incomplete without blank. A romantic candle dinner would be incomplete without blank. Is that our rando or is that yours? Oh man, do I go That's super mine. nice or super awesome? Or what gaming I'm That's funny, but that's just funny to me. Uh, it's one of these two. Hey, no, you should get the expansions. These are my best cards because it's Damien. Oh, uh, okay. All right, are these? You gotta know the person. I do, I know Damien first. I know Damien biblically. Damien, oh. Damien, who's your best friend? Who's your best friend? Who's your... Shane. Damn it. <laughs> what are you talking about? That's kind of a thing. Shane. Uh, I was like, I'm Shane. Oh, yeah, you're Shane. Okay, so romantic candle dinner would be incomplete without genuine human connection. Oh. What? Dope. <laughs> um, oh. <laughs> a romantic candle at dinner would be incomplete without a fleshlight. Mm. That's gross. Hey, if, if you're having dinner with yourself, that's true. <laughs> you're gonna light oh, the candles. Oh, romantic oh, dinner. Light the so sad. Where's the dinner coming? 
Are we meant to get a legit over being complete without geese? <laughs> I love geese. Yes. I love geese. Uh -huh. Yeah, dude! I hugged the goose once. Anyway, um, <laughs> romantic candle dinner would be incomplete without Stephen Hawking talking dirty. Okay, oh, let me put it in your butt. <laughs> oh my god! That was, <laughs> that was great! Stephen that was so good! And no, horrible going, Steve I hope he's watching. <laughs> horrible Steve <laughs> Um, and a romantic candle at dinner would be incomplete without my genitals. Because I ain't leaving those at home. <laughs> that'd be wow, you really found a way to bring it around. Right? <laughs> um, let's see here. It's between geese and Stephen Hawking talking dirty. Hello. <laughs> yeah, you went for a genuine human connection because you think I'm sweet. Yeah! No. <laughs> Oh, you gotta know, Dan! No, man, I hear him talk about, like, I like, know you're trying to know me. Tinder swipes? No, I'm not on Tinder anymore. I know. I deleted that. Um. Because <laughs> you found a Geese! sweet Geese! Geese! Oh, oh, I love Geese! <laughs> I know, dude, I've gotten, like, all every one of your sweet I knew for a fact them. this was yours, and I didn't even mind, because that's how much I like Geese. But Stephen Hawking, uh, Wes, that was a good one. No, uh, that was me. Dipped! <laughs> Okay, right. see, that's the best part about horrors is that it's like, is it the house that's fucked up or is it your mind that's fucked up? It was the <laughs> mind because of the circumstances. All right, let's dig into that. Let's talk about that. <laughs> oh, okay. <laughs> I'm just like weeping as soon as you get back from the intro. Yeah, we're like, can we get him out of can we here? Get water? Uh, I never felt safe. And <laughs> <laughs> we can cut all that part. We don't have to. <laughs> just kidding. No, keep it in. Laugh at my pain. Pain. You'll never know the darkness that hides beneath this laughter. Also, that voice is pretty hot. Thanks. Hey, uh, okay. I guess Shane's still here. Whoa, which one? <laughs> hey, guys. So, Shane, do you, what kind of eye cream do you use? <laughs> Bug parts coming out with the water, but then they actually had to like go in and take it out. So I had two major shots of Novocaine in my ear um, so they could like extract it. And uh, the next day I come in with like an all cottoned up bandaged ear and I'm just looking at everyone like, oh yeah, uh, just so you know, there was a uh, hundred percent of bug in my ear. Also, f you. What kind of bug was it? Was, it? Um, something, it was like mosquito size. So it wasn't too crazy, but I, not fun. I just would love for it to be like, zzz, and all of a sudden you're like, it's, it's, it's calm. There's nothing. And all of a sudden you hear, now listen to me very carefully. I am the mosquito deep in your ear. and You're going to listen to me. Played by James Earl Jones. We're going to take down the the American government, mm. you and I. I've chosen a fourth grader as my vessel, <laughs> as the most powerful being in America. I mean, they wouldn't know any better. No. We're all titans to them. Yeah, this is true. Oh, we're, we're, all, we're all their gods. Yes. Mm -hmm. Actually, mosquitoes have taken down a surprisingly the most humans out of all animals. Oh, so, actually, you're totally so right. Malaria. Actually, I bet his real name was Sheldon Hand. Yeah. And he wrote something about the Iran Contra <laughs> issue. The mosquito in my ear named <laughs> Shelby Foote is like, okay, no, don't say anything more. Yeah. <laughs> Just keep your mouth shut now. <laughs> They're on to you. <laughs> if you'd ask me where I thought this podcast was going to go, I didn't think it would be about sentient mosquitoes and Shelby the Foot. Yeah. Footerman. Anyways, should we all just like uh, take out some blood and just you know leave it out in the open? Yes, good good <laughs> idea, Shane. <laughs> Keep it going. Keep the ruse going. No, he's type B positive. That's the worst one. <laughs> Could also be setting you up for for disaster as well. That's true. Like I don't. Yeah. I mean, I don't. I don't know what the next person I'm gonna meet is is going to do to my life. Mm -hmm. Like, I don't have any any um, you know expectations to have kids but who knows maybe i'll meet that person and they'll be and i'll be like yes i would like to impregnate you and have a child he talks i can probably say that in a less creepy way but i won't uh <laughs> <laughs> yes madam would you enjoy breeding with yours truly <laughs> let's mate are you fertile let's at this mix moment? our genes and i'm not talking about laundry but i <laughs> Oh, uh, well, no. Yes, you do. I'm just gonna, I'm just gonna pick one. Just from the top. Wow. From, oh, I get to just choose any, anyone. Wow, that's okay. really? so cute. Oh, yeah. Okay, okay, okay. Spencer's psyched. <laughs> okay. Okay. Look at him. Excited. He's so psyched. Uh, uh. Okay. He's already doing that. <laughs> <laughs> wow. Okay. Um. Okay. I think this is a good one. Okay. Mm. That's me. What is it? Oh! 
I can't use my thumbs. <laughs> it wasn't speaking a silly accent. <laughs> oh no! I can't use Damn my thumbs, can no. I? <laughs> can't use your thumbs. Why, why are you doing that? <laughs> or no! We must move on. <laughs> Hashtag ask Smosh, and we take those questions and then we answer them. Woo! Okay, okay, uh, okay. Say that like the cheerleaders, like before they start, they're like, okay, okay. we got the beat to go away. Brittany! Brittany, <laughs> get information! I'm trying. Okay, I'm trying. Brittany! I'm sorry, I'm trying. <laughs> I was born without bones. <laughs> <laughs> Brittany, get your puddle ass over here! <laughs> Do it! Jump! Everything's so perfect. If you were born without bones, I'm sorry. <laughs> Uh, thank you for coming to my screenplay reading. An act with sock puppets. Sir, you're going to want to see this. What is it? Bring it up on screen. My god. That's right. The humans have launched more boats with 90s heartthrobs. Then we're just gonna have to send more icebergs. <laughs> <laughs> La launch all ships. No, I, I said that. I can, I'm the one who can say that. Launch all ships. All right, but they're also going to be in warm climates. Then we'll just have to get hotter. <laughs> We're going to have to kill Joseph Gordon-Levitt, too. He was from the 90s. Yeah. He's less problematic, though. Time! <laughs> Any, like, link attack where you're like, you know, let's do it together. And, you know, uh, you got my back and things like that. I'm just like, yes, I finally get to say those things. <laughs> I'm finally, Protag Boy. Yeah. Yeah. Well, one thing I always do with um, interviews for the subreddit is I type out some silly thing and have them say it in the character voice. If you could say it, as Chaz. I would be happy to with the addendum of um, I had vocal pharyngitis all through last week. I sort of blew out my voice and I'm still working through it. So I will do my best to sound like Chaz. I think I can do it. But if it's a little off, have some have some grace for me, please. OK, I already copied it. So it's. Oh, is it in the. um? Oh, the Zoom chat. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> okay. Pouring milk before cereal. <laughs> With my lucky charms, prepare to die, Byleth. <laughs> that sounded good. <laughs> Thank you. Usually in voice acting, you give like an A and a B take, so I do that, and I'd be like, oh, no, wait, no, I need to have more like tie to the lucky charms. I'd be like, pouring milk before the cereal. With my lucky charms, Prepare to die, Byleth. And then they pull me back and they'd be like, that's too much blood. You did the grumble. Shez doesn't have the grumble. I'm like, okay, I'll stop. <laughs> but, yeah. Thanks. You got it. Holy oh, Kate. Got, I've got someone named Anne Marie and she says, hi, I was wondering if you could write something motivating or encouraging from the show and or you personally, and I'll be happy with anything. That's so that's sweet. That's very sweet. <laughs> Each day we die a little more. We are promised nothing. Mio. <laughs> Sincerely, Mio. Um, uh, let's see. Damien and Miranda, did you guys know there is a live action Japanese movie of My Happy Marriage? It's a great movie. I did know that was a thing. I haven't it seen it. Is. Have you seen it or did you know about that? I have known about it. I have not. I have not viewed it also uh someone said just a question do you voice both mio and sumi i do oh nice um, which beaver nuggets oh, at yeah. kudo <laughs> and then mia would be like what are beaver nuggets or kudo i'm sorry that i don't understand what? she's like start crying <laughs> where are your beaver nuggets did you not get any of your own <laughs> sorry you deserve nuggets of your own don't let anyone tell you you don't. This is goofy. Uh, Love it. You deserve nuggets. You I deserve, deserve nuggets. <laughs> oh. oh my oh, bees god. With teeth. It's the bee with teeth back when we used bee to do Facebook teeth. streams. <laughs> oh my gosh, yeah, at Llama Queen. At Llama Queen. Drew this bee with, bee with teeth. Okay, That's incredible. So to make it fair, since I semi know the backstory of what had happened before, this is totally different now. We've we've got a bee. He he's a bee, but he's got the vocal capabilities of a man, and he uh, works Vegas. He is a Vegas performer. Um, he is sort of like an Elvis impersonator, but he's not. So like, he's always singing about his accomplishments that like to a human is not that impressive, but to like a bee, it's just like top tier. Where he's just like, I did a little do and I just learned how to count. 
I said a one, two, three, and seven, eight, nine, and that's all the numbers I know. But talk and with beep. showing your do that uh. voice, but showing your teeth a lot. Hey there, everybody. I want to thank you very much for coming out to the bee with teeth show. <laughs> I can bite anything you want as long as it's smaller than a bee's mouth. That's right. If you want ants, I can bite them. If you want okay, crumbs, I can now, bite them. Damien, Damien, now he got wrapped up in some, some bad mafia shit. And now he's being interrogated, and they're asking where the money is. Whoa, hey, gentlemen, I, I think we can work something out. And I, Show one, two, teeth. three, four, five, six. Isn't that a pretty impressive amount of numbers that I know? No, don't take my teeth. It's all. Hey, I've got. where's the money? Don't take my teeth. It's all I've got. <laughs> <laughs> Give us the freaking money, you you freaking teeth. Don't take bee. my teeth. Wait a minute. It's all I've got. They're growing right back. Oh my god. <laughs> <laughs> and that's how he discovers pew, pew. super bit powers. This is called Bee with Teeth Rising. It's his origin story. Oh my god, oh. I love it. <laughs> If you Oh my god. <gasps> Incredible. That's really cool. Dude, all these submissions are amazing. This is um Klaus von Getra. Yeah, this is submitted by at Carlos Sampaga. And Carlos, and let's see, thank you very much, Carlos Sampaga, because this is dope. Um, let's see, his name is Klaus, but I want him to have less of a German last name, so he's ambiguous. Um Ooh, oh, he's, a, he's a tall boy. Incredible. Um, so, he is a composer, but he only has holes in the side of his head like all gators do, um, which is tricky. And I also want to point out, good job on making this a gator and not a crocodile. That is the right kind of snout. You drew the right kind of snout. Wow. Yeah, very right. Um, so I think any lizard man has sort of a voice like this. So he's not able to sing, but he is able to talk to you a bit about what he's thinking. But I'm, I want to do less S's because that's a very like snaky thing. He's not a snake. What does he do? What does he do, guys? He, alligators do hiss, but he is very serious about his art. He so he composes music. He doesn't even necessarily play any instrument. He just knows all the notes and tells other people what to play. Oh, okay. Um. Okay, so he's like, huh, Amadeus, Salieri, never heard of them. They're not even good at what they do. If I'd heard of them, of course. <laughs> Tell you what, I'm gonna play a bunch of 16th notes, and then I'm gonna get them to a 32nd note, and then a 64th, and then <laughs> you'll be impressed at how fast I'm playing these notes. They're not even mel melodic, but they're just so fast that if you were to tap along, you would wear straight through the floor. <laughs> I don't know. Oh my I don't know God. about I don't know about that voice. What else could I do? I think that's oh. exactly who he'd be though. That sounds more sinister. I feel like he's an artistic, um, poetic he could be like a surprisingly poetic romantic yes, like, type game. Like he's a very proper German man and he's like, Hello, mein Damen und Herren, welcome today to the to the <laughs> new songs that I'd like to present to you. It's called Waiting Until the Thing Gets Close Enough to the River and then Striking. <laughs> And now for our next piece, Party in the USA. <laughs> By Hannah Montana. I was going to say that I feel like going back to that previous voice and adding a little nasal maybe yeah. would be. Nasal to the... So it's like, yeah, but then it's nasal. No, so it's a little bit more like this. It's like, hello, <laughs> ladies and gentlemen. It's very nice makes to see more messed this. up sound. I like... I wanted to hear more high society vibes, uh. like... Yes, I do invite you to have a seat where I will be playing for you today. Once I use lotion, of course, my hands are very dry, you see. I am a gator. Joining us today is my best friend, the little bird that sits on my nose and helps me clean. <laughs> Ladies and gentlemen, Baby Bob Supreme. Whoa. Yeah, let's hit this one. Yo, this is dope. This is sick. Okay, so Olivia Van Clay posted so these, the and these are dope. Looks like somebody needs a haircut. <laughs> That's awful. Uh, uh, somebody needs a haircut. Oh, uh, uh, it's terrifying. Uh, oh, that one's incredible. The Burger Man. <laughs> that is literally the Burger Man. Of the Burger Man. <laughs> <laughs> I'm the burger man. I do non-copyright poetry that I made up, and then I kill you. <laughs> hey, we've got an order here. Two patties, no cheese. <laughs> Time to flip. 
I love it. I wish it. that burger guy could just have like a farty voice, just like like. You just get hit. You just get hit with flecks of beef. You're just like ah. Oh, no. no, it's just it's just saw, but it's just worse. Just like. <laughs> I love this guy, Shane. This one feels very you. Oh, that. I don't know why. Rocket, but... And I'm having a jolly good time. <laughs> What's inside? So he's like an ice cream robot. I'm an ice cream cone, but uh, the hot sun of the down under, and I mean hell, has uh, completely melted me, revealing my robotic insides. Okay. Can I take a crack at this boy too? Yeah. Do it. yeah. I think of him as like a higher pitch, like almost jokery type, where he's like, hey kids, what's the problem? Wanna add a cherry on top? <laughs> uh, excuse me, excuse me, but I ordered sourdough. And you gave me whole wheat. I have a so problem with any dough being ordered this morning because that's <laughs> my head. Are you the chef of the restaurant? I'm the burger man. <laughs> I'm the chef at any restaurant I so choose. I like that we both went. I went Australian too, so it's just they're just this yeah. is just our, our depiction of Australians. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, and I'll uh, do the uh, Grand Slam come with hot links. Or chicken sausage. Excuse me, but excuse me. You can't have chicken sausage next to my ass. And you can't have beef sausage either. And no bread. Breakfast is cancelled. That was amazing. Those are. My childhood, I had four birds and a lizard. Four birds and a lizard. Three parrots, one cockatiel, and, and a partridge in a pear tree. tree. But you can't have partridges in Georgia. It's a, it's a, it's illegal. It's illegal. You can't do that. So I had to it's sub it out for a bearded awesome. dragon lizard. Interesting. It was very sweet. So what were the four birds' names? There was Picasso. Uh, he was an African gray parrot. Sweet Pea was a mustache parakeet, which is a misnomer. It's actually a type of parrot, not a I parakeet. I love gnomes. I, I miss gnomes. <laughs> don't you boys like a kiss? No, I don't like gnomes anymore. <laughs> Archer <laughs> was the cockatiel. Um, they're cover. I pre sauced them in general sauce. <laughs> These are hand sauced pants, you guys, made in Los Angeles. Yeah, you know, sauced in Los Angeles. Sauced in Los Angeles. Yeah, that's the thing. It's it's packaged in Los Angeles. Like you're still doing the fast fashion, yeah. but you're like, it's a product of LA. They come to here. Yeah. I sauce them and repackage them, send them yes. out to the people. You get the lower quality, like truffle mushrooms, but they pack them in France. They still like. <laughs> charge a lot and you're They're like, fresh. Oh, you know these aren't going to taste as good. They're going to taste like ass, but Damien Did we lose Oz, your whole audience well, with that? <laughs> They're going to love Cheese that. Cheese and truffle. Cheese and truffle. Isn't it the worst when you're sipping on truffle milk <laughs> and then people are like, can I have money? And you're like, no. No, I've got no. my jeans. Well, Damien Eyes, welcome to the show. You know Damien Thank from you Smosh. Guys. You know Damien.